Hi guys, how are you all doing? Rodian Builds here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build radial brickwork. Simple as that, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, I've set up a few little bricks here to sort of imitate a doorway, for example, because there's a, a radial brick, when you build radial brickwork, you can use it for so many different applications. For this one, I'm just gonna, for an example, I'm just gonna show you how you could build like a circular step or a semicircular step, for example. So let us assume that this between here is a doorway, I'm sort of further up here, the doorway is above here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build a radius around here. Now, it is a lot easier than you could prob than you probably might imagine. You're gonna need a trammel. I have my old wooden trammel that I found knocking about in the garage. Okay, so what we need to do is measure the opening that you wanna build between. So this, for example, is 110, say 110 mil, no, 1.1 meter. I get a lot of grief in the comments because I always say millimeters in the wrong way around. Like a video a couple back, I said, 1500 mil instead of 150 mil for two course. Anyway, one meter, 100 millimeters. So all you need to do is you need to half that, which is 550. Measure from one side, 550. Now what I like to do, not just measuring this, but call that anything sharp, but whenever I measure anything, I always like to measure from the other side as well. 550, perfect. I'll leave that just there. And you may have noticed that the muck I'm using today is a lot blacker than normal. I thought I'd add a little bit more black muck, uh, black dye to my lime mortar just to see how it looks. I might start experimenting with different muck colours just because, well, why the devil not, eh? Anyway, so we've got our 550. Drop my pencil. Got our 550. You set your trammel up. Set your trammel up so you have the point in the centre and your pencil on the other end. Now that just needs scooching in a little bit. When you do this, you have to account for the joint as well, because I'm going to have a brick coming out this way and then we're going to do the radius. So account for the joint. So we'll have a nice tight joint there. So that will go like so. And then basically all you do is you mark the outside of your radius. Now this would be the extra dos of the radius, the outside of the radius. If you are going to be doing this and you want to do it in nine inch, then I would suggest that you mark the intrados as well. So for example, we're marking the outside, the visible line, say for this step. But if you were building, say like a fire pit, maybe. Fire pit, we all like fire pits, don't we? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Subscribe to my channel and you may see something like that in the future. Anyway. So there's the outside. Now, if you wanted to do, like I say, if you wanted to do a nine inch wall and both sides are gonna be visible for some reason, then you would measure the brick, obviously uh, two, 215 is a brick. So then you would measure in from that side 215. I'll tell you what, I'll do it just to show you. Measure that in 215. So I'll just put that brick there with a 10 mil gap. Timble gap, who calls it a gap? Timble joint, sorry. Not very technical there. And then you mark that on your trammel like so. And again, you just run that around and that'll give you the intrados. Now I will be talking about nine inch, that's right in a way. I will be talking about nine inch radius work in a future video. Again, hunt, uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, fire pit possibly coming soon. Any of those of you who saw my post that I put up well, it'll probably be yesterday or today or whenever I upload this video. All those cuts I was doing. And there might be a fire pit on the horizon, possibly. Anyway, I'm waffling on. So, <laughs> everyone knows I love a waffle. So that would be your brick. So that would be the outside and the inside. But we are not going to lay, even when you do nine inch, you're not going to lay bricks like this. You're always going to use half bats. Now, half bats. So those of you who know, half bats is half a brick. For those of you who don't know, half bats are half a brick. I have cut plenty of these ready to go. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna put them on the outside. I'm not gonna do a nine inch wall today. So I have got a bunch of these ready cut up. Now when you lay these, you're gonna want the backside of it 
to be pretty much touching a brick and the front side to give you a, a smaller to give to make the front side give you a smaller gap as possible now i'm just going to run these around to check to see if they fit i would always suggest doing that because sometimes if you have to make adjustments then you can do so so i will check back to you in a second once i have checked these so as you can see i have just set out the bricks just dry laid them just to make sure that they are going to fit round. and as you can most probably tell some of these joints are an absolute country mile bigger than 10 mil so what i'm going to do is i'm going to lay one full brick like so because as you can see there's a cut on that side and a full brick on that side now the way i'm going to show you is probably what i'd like to say is the make it up as you go a long way so you put one in and but what i'm going to do is i've got my brick hammer my scut hammer and every time i lay a brick i'm going to just knock the corners off of these so we can butt these up nice and tight and then by the time we get round, that might be a, a full brick it might be half a brick i'm not sure yet so we'll have to alternate that when we go up of course but if you want to make this perfect i have a video about cutting vossoirs now if you have going i'll leave the link down in the description so if you want to check that out basically what you do is you mark all of them out and cut each individual one so that you know exactly which ones are going to go in so for example you would mark you would you'd take well i explained about it in that vossoir video i don't want to go on too much about cutting vossoirs in this video otherwise it's going to be 150 years long so for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it the make it up as you go a long way. And if you would like to learn how to cut vossoirs and do it, the, I say the proper way, the, 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 the perfectionist way, then go and check out that video and you can, uh, you can use those techniques to adapt to this and it will give you exactly the same outcome. But it will be, I would say, the, the proper way of doing it. So, but just for clarification, this way is going to be, like I said, the make it up as you go a long way. Okay, so first off, I'll put this brick in. And before we go too too crazy with it, I'm just gonna knock the back off because it was a bit under a full brick. So we'll put a bit of muck in there. I always like to keep that muck a little bit back so I can see where that line is. Because you wanna make sure you get this nice and, nice and round. I will butter that brick up before. I don't normally do this, butter bricks up while they're down. I just don't like doing it. Each to their own and all that, but it's just not my cup of tea. So we'll put that in and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you how that looks on that line after I've leveled it up etc etc now when it comes to doing radius work leveling the bricks as you go can be an absolute pain in the bottom in fact I can't actually show you that now yes I can I'll do it on the next one I'll show you on the next one because I've covered it up with that black mark I probably shouldn't have used black mark really but I just thought I'd try it out so the first brick that's going to go in, we're going to just knock the corners off the back of it. That's much better. You get a nicer, nicer, tighter joint on that. And as I was saying, levelling these as you go can be a righteous pain in the backside. There is a way that you can level these without even using a level. And you can use a laser level. So it's almost like laying to a line, but you lay to a laser. Now, I don't have a laser level to show you because my one got pinched about two years ago. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that option, but that option is there. Essentially, you set up the laser and you, um, you lay it so the laser line is just touching the aris of that brick. And you just follow it around. It's like, like laying to a line, but obviously it's a laser. So, that is an option if you do have a laser level. So what we do is we just follow this round. I'll put a couple more bricks in and then I'll show you sort of top down what I'm looking at when I'm laying to that line. As I'm laying these bricks, hopefully you can see, I'm eyeing down the two corners and lining the corners up with the line below i'm not worrying about the center 
I'm doing it to the two corners. You can do the centre if you want, but I find if you do the two corners, you can actually see the line at the front. Whereas if you line the front of the brick up with the line, you can't see any more of the line. So that is why I do it that way. Unfortunately, you can't really see it going around here because like I said, I'm using black muck. But you could hopefully see just on that corner, iron down, iron up the corner of the brick with that line that we drew down there for the extra dos. So that is what we do. I knock the corners off. I could probably knock a little bit more off because these are slightly bigger than 10 mil by the looks of it. Could probably knock some more off. And I'll go around and I'll do exactly the same, just following it around all the way around to the other side of what will be the doorway. I don't know why I did that. To the other side of the doorway. finish that off I'll put turns out it's a half bat not a full brick well halfway between a half bat and a three quarter to be perfectly honest with you but that fits in there nicely and there we go there's the first course set in of your radial whatever it is you're building step your uh, planter your, well, whatever else you want it to be. If you want to do a full circle, all you do is you just obviously ignore the two sides and you just mark it out as you would do for a semicircle. We just do the whole circle and it's exactly the same process. Just running it round. You have to level sort of, it's very awkward to level it. Like that is running a fraction high to be perfectly honest with you. Oh well, I must have. No, let's just tap that a bit more. That's better. And there we go. Right, I will quickly explain the nine inch uh, variant. So as I showed you earlier, where we marked out the intrados, it's very much the same on that Vossoir video, because with the Vossoir video, I explain it in the way for using it for an arch. Now, this is essentially an arch, just laid flat on the floor. Sim very, very similar way of laying bricks, but obviously the bricks off um our frog up rather than face side up as if you it was an arch but the um the principles are exactly the same but with this case if you wanted to do the introduce as well like a nine inch wall you would cut the bricks and have them and essentially you'd follow that inside line much the same as you would do the outside line but just following it on the inside line just going round. now i measured that for a metric brick and these are imperial bricks so that is going to stick over that line a little bit but you, you get the idea so you would follow it around on the inside like so with this one you wouldn't have to cut wouldn't have to cut the brick it's much easier so i'd say always do the outside first and then the inside is uh i don't want to say it, but much easier so you just run that around that way and then if you wanted to put a brick on edge on top you can put a brick on edge on top and you will have a face side on both sides. You could cut vossoirs for all of them, but I wouldn't advise that because the insides would be a lot skinnier than the outsides. So I would suggest doing it this way. So that is how you would do for a nine inch. This is like I say, essentially exactly the same. So what I will do is I will run around, I'll do the next course, bond it over and then uh, uh, I'll show you show you how it looks when it's when it's done because basically that is pretty much it there wasn't wasn't a lot of waffle me going on because I was just laying this that is essentially it the only difficult part about it is leveling it over as you go but like I say if you had a laser you would be well easy but it's not that difficult you just run the level around it can be a bit fiddly with bricks like this because they're a little bit lumpy and bumpy but generally on the whole it's uh, it's pretty easy so I'll put that top course on and then we'll have a google street view and see what we think of it And there we go guys, two course of radial brickwork. Radial brickwork, radius brickwork, depending on which way you want to call it. 
look quite nice. Obviously, if there's be a doorway there, the first step, another step come out, a few more. Yeah, it looked really nice with a few slabs in there. Well, it has all been pointed up and brushed off. It is still a touch wet, so it probably could have another go over in about half an hour. There's a the top-down view. Obviously, imagine a doorway here. If you wanted a set of steps, you could have a nice one there and another one coming out here. You could, you could do all sorts. It doesn't have to be a step. You could also have like planters or oh, cool, anything, really. I would suggest that if you are backing this up with another course, I would fill in these gaps with muck. But if you're doing a step or something like that, then you'd probably infill that with a bit of MOT and then a little bit of concrete on top. So this would all get hidden and the slab will go on top of that. So those joints would get filled up. On the whole, I would say when coming along and doing radial brickwork, the theory behind it is relatively simple. Because like I said earlier, all it is is just you measure in between and then just draw a line out. And then if you're doing nine inch, you do the intrados as well. So the method behind it is quite simple, but the practical application of it is a little bit tricky. If you did notice in the time lapse of me putting that top course on, I did go around and you have to plumb up every brick as you go around. That is the difficult part. Like I said, if you did have a laser, you could negate the fact of having to run around with the level on top, running it around. That would probably be a much better way of doing it. If you would like me to do a video on how to do radial brickwork with a laser, let me know down in the comments and I will uh, see if there's a hire shop around here somewhere where I can hire a laser level and, and I'll do a video on that. I think that'd be quite interesting. But yeah, I'll show you the plumbing points quickly on, these brickwork, on the brickwork to show you where to plumb up. So if you're looking down on the top as you are laying, you are gonna to wanna to plumb the corner of each brick. Don't worry about the middle, do the corners, because as I said earlier, you're gonna be putting the corners against the lines on the, on the ground, not the center. You can do the center if you want, but the reason that I do the corners is so you can still see the pencil mark on the inside, because obviously a brick is straight and that line was slightly curved, so you'll always see a little bit of pencil line, so you know you're following it quite well. So I would suggest that plumb up the corners, but if you are going to be doing the front over the line, then obviously we plumb up the line. Basically plumb up whatever part of the brick is touching the line. So like I say, it will be these corners here. And obviously just follow along and the, just sort of have the joint halfway through the, the brick above, much the same as you would do with half bond brickwork. So you would just do that, follow it all the way around, and then have that come up as high as you want, as low as you want, however you want to do it. As you can see on the insides, there was a little cut here. But as I was saying, if this is how I would say the make it up as you go along way of doing it, because you'd have, like you see, you've got a cut here, but it's a smaller cut here. If you want it exactly the same and you want it symmetrical, I highly advise going to check out my Vossoir video. Again, leave it down in the description, the link for that. And that will tell you, you'll, you'll measure the outside. There is a uh, mathematical equation to work it out. Measure outside and it will tell you exactly how many bricks you're gonna need and at what size to gauge them. But like I said, I didn't wanna go into too much detail in this video, otherwise it would be 100 years long, me going through that, because I've already made a video about that. So if you did wanna make it perfect, then go and check that out and essentially you are cutting Vossoirs to do this rather than, like I said, the make it up as you go along way of doing it. But there we go. If anyone does have any other ways that they do this sort of bond, this sort of brickwork, please do let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. There we go guys, radial brickwork. Hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do a step. It's going to be very similar to this, but if you would like me to go through and uh, show you how to build a step, then let me know down in the comments. Again, if you would like me to do uh, a laser level laying radial brickwork or how to lay bricks with a laser rather than a line, let me know again down in the comments. Any other ideas for brick laying tutorials or brick laying videos? Again, please do let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing your ideas. And with that being said, we'll probably leave it there for the day. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please do leave a like down below if you have. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Brick Slade wages paid, and I will see you guys in the next one. So take care. See you then. Tara. Simples. I think that's it. I guess so. Been doing well without the outtakes. Crikey. So rather than I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm trying to draw it down there, and I ain't, I ain't bloody marked it yet. Where's my pencil? Well, I'm not very prepared for this episode, am I at all? I will probably trim those up, actually, so that they fit in a lot snugger. Snugger? Is that even a word?
Uh, burp. Where is my brick hammer? There it is. Where's my hammer and bolster? Right there, I'll do it with that. Yes, brick work, however you want to call it. There's, oh no, we're not in autofocus, are we? If you would like me to do a video on actually, well, there's no point in doing a video because you can just watch this. However, I probably would have preferred it if it was a little bit lighter, but I just wanted to use up, no, you're waffling on, mate. Fucking airplanes during quarantine, mate. Get out of it. Much you would, much you, as long, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't want to say the pointing is fucking shit because the pointing is a bit shit. It's a bit mucky, it's a bit dirty. That's what happens when you rub up wet brickwork. 